Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Jain and in this video I will show you how you can create an internal domain or a private domain that will work within your VPC in AWS using Route 53. So what we will be doing in this video, I will be creating an EC2 instance, I will uh, run a website there and will then create a AWS Route 53 private hosted zone and will connect that private hosted zone with the EC2 instance and then we will see when we type the URL of uh, our private hosted zone or private domain name, uh, then it should connect or it should provide the response from that website which is hosted on EC2 instance. Okay, so yeah, things will get more clear when we will uh, go in practical demonstrations. So here are the steps that we are going to follow. So first step is to create an EC2 instance. So I will go on my uh, AWS management console. I will click on EC2. From here, I will click on instances and from here, I will uh, select launch instance. I will provide my web server a name, my web server. And from here, I will select Amazon Linux 2 and instance type will be T2 micro, which is sufficient for this demo. I won't select key pair. I will be using EC2 instance connect to connect with my services. Network settings, I will I'm in this VPC and I'm not selecting any subnet and let AWS select subnet uh, uh, on my behalf and create security, select security group. So I will use existing security group. I think this is default or no, I think I should create a new one. And what I will do, I will allow SSS traffic from anywhere because uh, yeah, for now that doesn't matter. Allow HTTP traffic from internet because I will be deploying a website. So uh, I am allowing it. Okay, however, that is not required for uh, for this, you know, uh, that is not an essential thing, but I will show you that the website is running. So that's why I'm allowing it. Okay, so uh, in the last, I will open advanced detail and will copy this user data script. So what this user data script is doing, it is just, you know, installing this HTTPD, which is an Apache server and starting this service, which is again, sudo service HTTPD start. So it will create an Apache server and will start it. Okay, so we are done. I will click on launch instance. Okay, it asks me to you want to proceed without key pair, proceed without key pair, and then again select launch instance. So my instance creation is in progress. So okay, uh, this has launched. So I will go here, and it it is in pending state. So let's wait for few seconds, and it will be up and running. I will click refresh refresh okay so what is the next step so next step is we need to uh, uh, we need to do ssh using ec2 instance connect okay so yeah meanwhile our instance is also up and running so we can click on this and i would like to show you one thing so this public dns copy this value and just open a new tab and hit enter and now we should get a response from uh, our web server that we installed. Oh, oh, why we are not getting the response? Ideally, we should get because the server should be up and running. Let me check security group. We are allowing traffic on port 80 from everywhere. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe uh, some intermittent issue has happened, but it is now working. You can see it is working. And even if I select it again, sorry, details go the public IP, it should also work. So both are returning a response. It works, which is the default response of the Apache web server. So it means Apache web server is installed on an EC2 instance that we just created. So this is the website I was calling and we'll try to access this website internally with our private domain name. So, okay, I will close this and I will click on connect. From here, I will select EC2 instance connect. I will click on connect. Since we have allowed every uh, every IP on port 22, so that's why this will establish a connection. Otherwise, you have to add the IP of the EC2 instance connect service. So, okay, so now I will do a curl and HTTP slash local host. Yeah, so you can see we are getting a response from here as well. 
uh, on uh, of our website so next step what we will do i will go back and i will go to my route 53 and from here we will create a new domain so i have selected mintra.com because i know mintra.com is a famous shopping website here in india but uh, we will be using the same domain as a private hosted zone so i will uh, go in hosted zones i will create a hosted zone and i will select mintra.com okay and i will in the type you have to select a private hosted zone here it will ask you which vpc you want to connect with hosted zone because route 53 is a global service so uh, uh, yeah so you are not you are getting global as a reason that's why it is uh, providing all the regions so we will select ireland and from here we will select our default vpc and we'll create a hosted zone so it will create a hosted zone that's very nice so now our hosted zone has been created which is mintra.com what we will do uh, to prove that uh, to prove that this hosted zone uh, which is an internal uh, hosted zone is working so what i will do i will uh, okay leave it as it is and i will go to my ec2 instance i will select a private ip so here this is the private ip i will select this and will uh, put it here and will save it okay so i have saved this ip and now i will access mintra.com so if i open mintra.com here you can see it is a shopping website coming here and now if i access the mintra website mintra.com okay and again http so you can see uh, it is returning it works html body yeah, i mean html body and all those things it is we are getting the response from our apache web server it means uh, our internal private hosted zone is working and when uh, when we are trying to access that uh, access the domain from our vpc within the vpc and uh, to again uh, I mean if you want to create more records to point to different so what I will do I will create again dev.mintra.com and will probably use the same IP because I have only one website running so we'll do this and I will do create records so yeah okay now I will try to whether this is working or not I, I, it should work but let's try but because sometimes it may take time to propagate the changes so yeah it is working and you can verify that if you type dev1 it is not working could not resolve host dev1 but uh, so it it you know it proves that uh, the domain that we are defining there are working fine and they are pointing to our ec2 instance uh, and internal hosted zone or private hosted zone are working as expected so that's all i had in this video if you have liked this video then please please hit like button or and follow my or subscribe my channel for more such video related to aws thank you very much for watching